it's interesting. What uh, any horror films uh, influence you especially? Uh, yeah, uh, the, the the big ones were Rosemary's Baby and and uh, the Stepford Wives, um, uh, among among others. But you know those 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 were uh, stories written by Ira Levin, who is a you know really brilliant novelist and and um, has written many screenplays and and his technique of inching us towards this in. It, is inevitable, horrific reveal, um, but not moving so fast that you don't understand why the lead character is staying in the 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 uh, the, the the scene. You know, I mean, this this whole movie was made to address the 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 black need for characters in horror movies to do the right thing, to avoid danger. I don't know if you ever watched a, a horror movie <laughs> in a black neighborhood, but it gets loud. <laughs> and black people are like, come on, get, come on, get out the house, you know. <laughs> Call the cops, no, don't walk backwards, motherfucker, don't do it. <laughs> um, and so I wanted to make a movie that uh, was for that audience, and, and I knew I had to if I was gonna have a, a, a black protagonist in this movie. It, it, the character's actions have to pass the, the African-American smell test. <laughs> you know, it has to, or else you're, you're just done. And so what I realized was what Ira Levin did with Rosemary's Baby and the Stepford Wives is he wove these, these very social thrillers and uh, he built them so subtly that the main character couldn't quite tell if something really dark and horrendous was happening or if this was just garden variety, um, average uh, social weirdness. And that's what kept, keeps them in the character. So, you know, I, I think with what, one of the things we achieved with Chris is like, we understand why he's there. Even if we want him to, even want him to leave, we, we get it. <laughs> 